Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kimmel Bay Church's Bible vlog for today. And if you have the Bible with you, we are in Luke's Gospel and chapter 13. Luke's Gospel, chapter 13. And we're going to read a few verses starting at 22. And in the NIV Bible, in my Bible, the title is The Narrow Door. So then Jesus went through the towns and the villages, teaching as he made his way to Jerusalem. Someone asked him, Lord, are only a few people going to be saved? He said to them, make every effort to enter through the narrow door, because many, I tell you, will try to enter and will not be able to. And once the owner of the house gets up and closes the door, you will stand outside knocking and pleading, Sir, open the door for us. Let's leave it there for now. Let's talk about this door. The first thing I want us to notice is that there is one door. It's not like a house with a front door and a back door and a shed door and a garage door. This is a single door. It's not like a hotel with doors to many rooms with um, many access points. There is a single door, one door. Second thing I want us to notice is that it's a, a narrow door not a wide door. And because it's a narrow door, you've got to make a bit of effort to get through the door. You've got to find the door. You've got to um, set your heart on wanting to get through this door. It's a narrow door, small door, not a large door, not a wide door. What's on the other side of the door? Well, it tells us a little later on in verse 28, that it's a place where Abraham, Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets are there in the kingdom of God. So through the door, through this narrow door, through this single door, there is the kingdom of God. So what is the kingdom of God? Well, in this context, I think it's talking about the future. It's talking about heaven. It's talking about the new heaven and the new earth, um, the home of righteousness it's talking about what happens when we leave this earth when we die but in another sense the kingdom of god is is simply the presence of god and we can know the presence of god today you don't have to wait uh, to die in order to know the presence of god hallelujah so here we have a single door a narrow door so we need to make an effort to get through this door on the other side of the door is god is the kingdom of God. It's the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is this door open? Well, it's currently open. The door at this moment in time is open. The way to, to, to Jesus is, is open. You can get to know Jesus um, today. You can get to know uh, the, the, the triune God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit today. The door is open if, and it's open for everybody. Anybody can go through this door. You just need to seek him out. And the scripture says that if you seek me, you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. But there's going to come a day when the door closes. That's going to be the day when Jesus comes again. Jesus, the Bible says that Jesus is going to come again and he's going to come and take with him those who know him and love him those who are Christians, those who have dedicated their lives to follow the Lord Jesus. And at that point, in our picture here of the door, the door will be closed. And in this parable here, we get people saying, Lord, sir, open the door for us. But Jesus will say, I'm, I'm sorry, it's too late. I gave, I gave you a chance. While the door was open, you were welcome. But the door has now closed. So on one side of the door is the kingdom of God, the home of righteousness. And here it says there's going to be a feast in the kingdom of God. It's a place of celebration. It's a place of joy. And elsewhere it tells us it's a place where there is no um, crying. There's no shame. There's no um, illness. There's no sickness. It is just absolutely fabulous. It is wonderful. But if you don't go through the door and the door closes, you'll be left outside. What's outside? Well, here we go back to this verse and it says that outside there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 
oh my word, it's a horrendous place. It's a horrible place. Why would anybody not want to go through the narrow door, the single door, the door that leads to life, the door of the kingdom of God, the door of knowing the Lord Jesus Christ? Can I encourage you today, whilst the door is still open, to make every effort to go through that door? You can do that simply by praying this prayer with me now. Lord Jesus, I realise that if I'm going to get to know you, if I'm going to spend eternity with you starting today, then I have got to go to the person at the door. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are that person. Lord, you invite us to come and say sorry for our sin to repent from our sin, to turn away and to make every effort to follow you in this life. And Lord, thank you that when we do, that you pick us up, you clean us out, you place our feet upon a rock, but more than anything, you take us through that narrow door and you give us a seat in the kingdom of God. Thank you. Amen. Have a good day. Look after yourself. God bless.